Back in 1969, upon the day of the investiture of Prince Charles, a national holiday here in Wales, a young man took the decision to spend his day hand-carving a traditional Welsh love spoon. It provides the starting point for our story, and a story that can be described as a good, old-fashioned love story. The intended use for the love spoon was as a proposal of marriage, and it has proved to be the first step upon a journey in life and love together. Since 1969, the Thomas family, as it has continued to grow, has added one love spoon for every year as a form of a diary. It has provided a focal point to portray messages and to provide a potted history of how the world has changed and developed over the last 50 years. But in its essence, it has always been a positive story and message to portray, and it has always retained that seed of a good, old-fashioned love story. often portray a message but through our workshop we're always open to receiving a message and one message in life that we have received is life is a journey and it's it's not a destination um, and every year the love spoon reinforces this message every year we add a love spoon to our family collection and this year's Love Spoon is all about celebrating 50 years of adding to our family collection of Love Spoons. Now, sometimes, on that journey, we might get it a bit wrong. And we might go in the wrong direction. And in 2019, we felt that with our yearly Love Spoon, we were going in the wrong direction. 
we had a message, we had a theme, we had an idea, but the design just didn't seem to come together. And we tried, and we tried different things. We tried all sorts to get it to work. It's kind of like a difficult relationship where you're trying to make it work, but something's just not fitting. And sometimes you've just got to accept that it's just not right. So we did a 180 degree turn and we went in a completely different direction. But the end result and the destination that we found ourselves in is a far more positive place to be. And so in many ways, that's what we're trying to get across is that sometimes in life we, we go the wrong way, but it's all part of life's journey to get us to that destination and to the place that we should be. So focusing on this year's theme, it's very much getting back to that core value, a simple message that we started with where a young man decided that he was going to make a love spoon and he was going to use that as a proposal of marriage as a first step along a, a journey in life together and so that is what we're basically doing we're reinforcing that message 50 years on we're reinforcing that message of love it's an old-fashioned love story, journeying through life together, through the good times, through the bad times, through the happy times, through the sad times. Life is a journey, it's not a destination. And for us, our journey has been through the Welsh love spoon. And we've sort of evolved alongside and together as a family. But the Love Spoon story has always been intertwined with our own story as a family. Our Love Spoon to Record 2019 took inspiration from the original love spoon, the first love spoon that Thomas the Woodcarver hand carved. Um, and it's interesting because our, our methods, they're largely the same. We're still hand carving um, with the hand tools. There's the odd thing, you know, the coping saw has been replaced now by the scroll saw. But largely our process has remained unchanged for the last 50 years. And um, on the theme of love, it's, it's a process that we do still love. But what we decided to do was to very much evolve the design. So the first thing we did, we scaled it up. We made it a lot larger. And by making it a lot larger, we could include all sorts of different symbols in them. And there's a reason for each and every one of those symbols. Now, starting at the bottom, we included the Celtic Eternity sign. And that's something that's become increasingly popular then in our designs. So we, we, it's something we've been keen for a number of years to get into one of our display spoons, one of our own collection. The reason we like that symbol is, is the symbolism with it. it. It represents, you've got a representation there of the Trinity, but it's that eternity, that continuous nature, you know, and it's that nature of love as well, where it's eternal love, that, that thread. It is there, that energy, and it lasts, and it endures. We also included the swans, because of course swans partner for life. And on this journey, it's, you know, on, on life, you, you sort of have to stick together, just as those swans stick together, that's what you have to do. Opposite the swans then, you've got the ship, the ship on the ocean. And one interpretation for that is that you hope that you will cross the ocean of life safely. But we're realistic with it. We've included a little bit of sun, a little bit of rain, because of course you get the two things and you need the two things in balance. We need the sun and the rain to allow us to grow. Now on the original, there was an empty heart and just the single initial of K uh, for dad's initial. Uh, but on this one, instead of having an empty heart, 
that we filled the hearts with the initials because our hearts have been filled. So it's recording that, but it's also that togetherness. So those initials, they're kept together. We then go on to the daffodil. Now, a lot of people look at that and think, oh, so, you know, it's a national emblem of Wales. But there's another message that we get through that daffodil. You hope that love will blossom and continue to blossom. Very much the theme of this story. And love has blossomed. And we're very grateful and very thankful for that over the years. Above it, then, we've got the silhouetted candle inside a cross. It's a strong symbol of faith. And, and it's a big part of what we've done. A whole process with the Love Spoon. There's a lot of faith that's sort of intertwined in that process. So it's relevant. And um, everybody can see that candle that is silhouetted in that cross. But there's no candle there. So it's a, it's a little bit of a depiction of, of God's love then. So that's what we're getting across there through that silhouetted candle. And the final one at the top. A little bit of a tribute. That goes back to Thomas Wood Carver's mum. We've got to start at the top. Nice story with it, because when he was young, if he had a disappointment in school, which he was claims he, he, he claims now was rather frequently, his mum would tell him, Don't worry, Kerry, one day your little star will shine. And he jokingly says that he's still waiting for his star to shine. But through the love spoon, that is what we have seen through, through, through this simple tradition, but this powerful tradition with its powerful message of love. It's very much allowed Thomas the Woodcarver, it's allowed him to have that star. It, it, it's been allowed to shine brightly and it, it's, it's that, it's that story of, of love and that message of love. That's where that star has really shone brightly throughout the whole collection. 50 years of hand carving a love spoon in that collection, one for every year. There it is. That is where that star has shone brightly, is through the medium of the 17th century Welsh love spoon tradition. And we've been ever so lucky then as a family, ever so blessed and fortunate that this tradition has allowed us, has allowed us to express ourselves and has allowed us to share in so many love stories, not just our own, but all the love stories of engagements and weddings, and anniversaries, newborns. And in amongst it, a few, you know, a few sad ones over the years in terms of memorial spoons. But even through that, and in some ways especially through that, you see how that star shines brightly, how that message of love, it shines through as the brightest, brightest star.